Welcome back to more Pokemon Red. In the last episode, we made it through the Safari Zone, caught lots of rare Pokemon, and made it here to Saffron City. There is so much to explore here, so let's go ahead and get started. It would be great if the Elite Four came and stomped Team Rocket. Pokemon growth rates differ from species to species. Silphco is very famous, that's why it's attracted Team Rocket. By the way, I did deposit my Charizard so I can get experience divided only between the five other Pokemon here, so just so you know. With Sylph under control, we can exploit Pokemon around the world. Mr. Psychic's house. Wait! Don't say a word. You wanted this. Ren received TM29. TM29 is Psychic. It can lower a target's special abilities. So Psychic is a super strong move that you want to use on a Pokemon of your choice. And do it carefully because this is a very powerful move that I'll probably be using on my final team. Snore. Ha! Huh, he's taking a snooze. Sylphco office building. Being evil makes me feel so alive. Trainer tips. New Great Ball offers improved capture rates. Try it on hard to catch Pokemon. Sylphco's latest product. Release to be determined. Saffron belongs to Team Rocket, so they do block off some of the houses here, for now at least. What do you want? Get lost. Saffron City, shining golden land of commerce. Boss said he'll take this town. Fighting Dojo. Saffron City Pokemon Gym. Leader Sabrina, the master of psychic Pokemon. Get out of the way. Ow, watch where you're walking. Let me go in the mart here. Revive is costly, but it revives fainted Pokemon. Max Repel lasts longer than Super Repel for keeping weaker Pokemon away. Let me sell my Nugget. Okay, that's good enough for now. Trainer tips. Full heal cures all ailments like sleep and burns. It costs a bit more, but it's more convenient. Okay, so I am ready to enter Sylph Code. This is a pretty massive area, but it's actually kind of fun to do. So let's get to it. There's 11 floors here, believe it or not. And I'm actually going to begin by going to floor number 5, and you'll understand why pretty soon. So there is a hidden elixir right here. And then I'm going to avoid this guy for now. I'm going to take this teleporter and immediately get back to it and go here. I heard a kid was wandering around. Rocket wants to fight. He's got an Arbok. I don't think I can one-shot him, but I'll throw a Thrash out anyway. Unless it criticals, which it did not.
And again, that's the reason why I left my Charizard in the PC, is so c these guys can get more experience on their own. Boom! It's not smart to pick a fight with Team Rockets. I'm gonna get this card key, so that's the reason I started here on 4-5. So that I could get that card key, it's going to let me explore all the other floors a lot more efficiently. So, with that out of the way, I will systematically go through this now. So let me start on floor number two. Let's start with this guy. Hey kid, what are you doing here? Rocket wants to fight. He threw out a thunderbolt. Fifteen on the sand true, I'll take it. Not gonna change, I'll throw another thunderbolt out. Thrash the rest of these. I again will be getting all the items, fighting all the trainers here in Sylph Co. You know that by now, it's a 100% playthrough. The one thing to mention is that if you defeat the final boss of this area, all the rockets disappear, so if you want to 100% it, you have to do it before you fight the final boss here. I goofed. Sylph Co. will be merged with Team Rocket. Head on out this way, talk to this scientist. It's off limits here, go home. Should be able to thrash through this team easily. Not gonna be changing Pokemon, not at all. Eighteen on the War Turtle, nice. Ah, man, I can't believe that I didn't kill it in one hit. That's all right, because it tried to thunderbolt me, which does not affect Nido King. It's like it never happened. You're good. Can you solve the maze in here? So, I actually don't need to use these teleporters very much with the card key that I got, thankfully. I actually only need to use one teleport, and I'll show that, of course. No kids are allowed in here. A cube bone. I don't know if I'm going to be able to one-shot this bad boy, but I'll try it out. Nope. Yeah, I didn't think so. That's okay.
tough. Diamond-shaped tiles are teleport blocks. They're high-tech transporters. All right. Good to know. So with the card key, I can open these weird-looking doors just by pressing A in front of them. Bingo. The card key opened the door. Help! I'm a self-employee. Scientist wants to fight. He's got four Pokemon, so I may not want to thrash through all of these. Let me Ice Beam this first one. Sixteen on the sand true, nice. Hmm, I don't know if I don't know if a thrash is gonna get rid of this wheezing. Let me try the thunderbolt because it does pretty good damage on a wheezing. Oh come on, one HP on it. Let me thrash the rest of this. Sending out a coughing shouldn't be an issue. Nice, 48 on the Needle King. It's gonna be nice to get it to 50, man. So unfortunately, yeah, that's what I thought. Not enough to finish it off. But thankfully, it had a fourth thrash in him. Parasect to 26. Good. I'm getting decent experience. It just takes a while. How did I know I was a rocket? How did you know I was a rocket? I work for both Sylph and Team Rocket. Opening up this other door with the card key here. And this girl's actually innocent. She doesn't do much. Eek, no, stop, help. Oh, you're not with Team Rocket. I thought... I'm sorry, here, please take this. She gives you TM-36. TM-36 is self-destruct. It's powerful, but the Pokemon that uses it faints. Be careful. So pretty useless. You shouldn't need to suicide yourself. Yeah, let me backtrack. I'm done with this floor. I can move on to the next floor. Floor three. Let me start with this rocket here. Quit messing with us, kid. Gonna eradicate. Nice, 19 on the war turtle. I think the Thrash should get rid of this Hypno, no problem. Although it could be a problem if not, but doesn't matter. He's fainted. No issues. Pidgeotto needs to level up, man. I need to get it to 36 to get it to Pidgeot, so... Once I have enough rare candies, I'm just gonna finish out the last few levels with rare candies, because I'm tired of leveling it up. Be honest. I give up. A hint? You can open doors with a card key. I work for Sylph. What should I do? Two doors here. I support Team Rocket more than I support Sylph. I think Thrash should get rid of these guys. 
I'm pretty hopeful anyway. Seventeen, sweet. Learn slash, not like it matters. The wheezing, the wheezing is the one that usually does not die to one hit. Unfortunate. You really got me. Hmm. Team Rocket said that if I help them, they let me study Pokemon. There's a Hyper Potion here in the corner. And we're done with this floor, so time to move on to the next one. Wait a second. I was confused. I was like, where are the stairs? I only see the elevator. Let me go down this side. Intruder spotted. Zubat. I love Thrash so much, man. It's so good when you're overleveled like this. I mean, I guess I'm not really overleveled. I haven't really done any grinding. Just been doing what the game is guiding me through, really. Who are you? I better tell boss on floor 11. We fight this guy next. Team Rocket has taken command of Sylph Co. Aim a chop. Maybe I should conserve my PP on the Thrash a little bit, because there's a lot of fights to do here. War Turtles 20, level amp quick. Just that Pidgeotto that won't level up, man. Arg! ha ha ha! My boss has been after this place. Go up this way. My Pokemon are loyal soldiers. He only has one. An electrode. I think Ice Beam's not very effective, so I'm gonna have to thrash this, because the Electrode does self-destruct or explosion, which can be kind of deadly. You can see some Pokemon gain more experience than the others, and that's just intrinsic to the Pokemon. Darn, you weak Pokemon. The doors are electronically locked. A card key opens them. It's kind of silly that he tells you that, even though I had to open the door to get in here, but I'm assuming you could get in here through the teleporters, I guess, and that's kind of why he's explaining that. Three items here. A full heal. A max revive. 
And no more room for items. All right, let me see what I can get rid of. Let me use an ether. On the thrash. There you go. Wait, that was stupid because I still have three of these. It didn't clear up a slot. Ah. Let me throw away the revive. And then let me grab an escape rope. And then there's a kid up here I can talk to. Shh! Can't you see I'm hiding? That's everything for this floor. Let me get out of here. So the next floor I've already been to, this is where I got the card key, but I kind of avoided all the fights, so now let me actually do them. Show Team Rocket a little respect. Got a level 33 Hypno. Let me see if I can Ice Beam it. Not good. Let me... let me thrash. Cough, cough. Which reminds me, coughing evolves into wheezing. It's a Pokemon report, or Pokemon evolve only when traded by Link Cable. We know that from a previous episode. It's a Pokemon report. Over 160 Pokemon techniques have been confirmed. It's a Pokemon report. Pokemon Lab created Porygon, the first virtual reality Pokemon. What? There shouldn't be any children here. Juggler wants to fight. He's got a Kadabra. Level 18 on the Sancho. I think 26 is what I'm aiming for with him. I always forget. Forty-nine, sweet. One more to fifty. That's cool. Starting to get unstoppable. Oh goodness. You're only five floors. It's a long way to my boss. Team Rocket is in an uproar over some intruder. That's you, right? Remember, this is where I got that hidden item at the very beginning here at Sylphco. We study Pokeball technology on this floor. Got a ton of Pokemon. But these are electric types, so I'm just gonna go for the Thrash. Hopefully it hits four times instead of three. Coughing and wheezing. Wheezing definitely has good defense. Usually takes a couple hits to kill one. Yeah, I figured. It's alright though, it's alright. Twenty-one. I 
can't believe the Pidgeotto has not gained one level all episode. It's unfortunate. So this guy survived. We worked on the ultimate Pokeball, which would catch anything. Ah, oh, I forgot I got no more room for items. Man. What can I get rid of? Max Potion? Hyper Potion? Let me just use the Hyper Potion. Then we'll go ahead and get this protein, which I'll use right away. Increase the attack here of my Needle King. And I already fought that guy down there. And I got a TM09, which is takedown, and it's an attack in which you take 25% recoil damage, so kind of useless if you ask me. Not a fan of it. But time to go on to the next floor. I am one of the four Rocket Brothers. That my choke looks so goofy, man. Finally, that Pidgeotto gained a level. Trying to learn wing attack. Ah, uh, might as well. Let's see. The whirlwind. So he's 31. Do I have five rare candies? I don't think so. I think I have four. Flame out. No matter, my brothers will avenge me. Oh dear, oh dear. Help me, please. Look at him. He's such a coward. Oh boy. They must have targeted Sylph for our Pokemon products. The rockets came and took over the building. Team Rocket is trying to conquer the world with Pokemon. You dare betray Team Rocket? Should be able to thrash through this entire team. Not gonna change any Pokemon here. We keep thrashing. Really? It missed? Oh man, that sucks. Now I'm confused. At least a Thunderbolt hit. It's been a while since I missed the thrash, though, so I can't really complain. Good experience on this gold bat. Level 19 on the sand shrew.
You traitor. If you stand for justice, you betray evil. That rotten president. You should have sent me to the Tixie branch. He's got a ton of Pokemon on him. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to thrash through it. I'm pretty sure Ice Beam is not very effective against these. And Thunderbolt isn't either. So I'll just have to risk getting confused. Because he has five Pokemon. It's gonna take a long time to get through this battle with all this experience text. That's alright though. So I got four thrashes, but certainly the next one, there's going to be a risk of confusion. Let me try a Thunderbolt. Hopefully I don't hit myself. I did. Oh well. Alright, confused no more. That wasn't too bad. Shoot! Tixie Branch? It's in Russian No Man Land. Alright, so let me get this item here. It's an X accuracy. And then this one right here. No more room. What can I make room with? Hmm. Maybe the max potion, full heal. I don't want to throw away the TMs even though I'm not going to be using them. Let me just use the max potion. It feels so wasteful, but I guess I'm never really going to use it, so I don't know why I feel bad about it. This is an HP up, which thankfully I can use right away. On the Nido King. Okay. I'm done here. Actually, I can cut through this part. It'll be faster. But we're done with this floor. Moving on up to floor number seven, I believe. I am one of the four Rocket Brothers. these Q-Bones. They have decent defense. Thankfully, I am one-shotting them. Ack. Brothers, I lost. Doesn't matter. My brothers will repay the favor. So if I'm keeping count correctly, that's the second of four. Okay. And next, we got TM03, which is Swords Dance. And you essentially charge it up, but then you double your physical attack. So, eh, it's an alright thing. But usually, if you're taking a whole turn to attack, that's not good. You should be killing enemies in one turn. A Child Intruder? That must be you.
Let me go with the ice beam here just to distribute the the PP or else I'm gonna be possibly running out with the thrash. Nice level 22 here. And a sand slash. I should have left my bicycle and my super rod at the PC because I knew I wasn't going to be using them for this tower and I could use the inventory space. 27 on the Parasect. Nice. Fine, I lost. Go on home before my boss gets ticked off. Oh ho, I smell a little rat. got four Pokemon. I'm gonna risk the thrash here. Level 50. That's a big milestone. Halfway to 100. Arbok level 26. Usually Arbok has pretty high defense as well, but the level discrepancy between that one and my Needle King is just too great. Definitely a one-hit shot, as you can see. Twenty on the sand shrew. Let me try to thunderbolt it. Hopefully not smack myself in confusion. Thankfully that worked. Lights out. Bingo. Our key opened the door. You! It's really dangerous here. You came to save me? You can't. It would be bad if Team Rocket took over Sylph or our Pokemon. Look who it is to our left. You may recognize that haircut. Team Rocket was after the Master Ball, which will catch any Pokemon. Yeah, so in case you missed it, that is our rival. We will be fighting him here at some point. Let me go around this corridor. <laughs> you mistook me for a Sylph worker? Hoping that that Pidgeotto will gain one more level so I can use all my rare candies and just get it to 36 and move on with my life. Because I need to clear the inventory space too. It'd be nice to get rid of the rare candies. I'm done. Despite your age, you are a skilled trainer. I need to make room again here, and I'm running out of things to throw away. I'm gonna be honest. Elixirs, max elixirs, full restores, full heals. I mean, I'm gonna have to use the full heal. It's gonna have to be it. 
It won't have any effect. What? I mean, ah, I don't want to use that. Let me do the max elixir. There you go. Restore all the PP. And then I got this calcium, which, again, thankfully, I can use immediately. Clear up the inventory space. Raise a special here. So, yeah, our arrival's up there. We can't get there from here. As you guessed it, I'll probably have to use a teleport, so that's gonna be coming up soon. But not yet. And yeah, let me go up here. Let me fight that guy. That's as far as you'll go. He's got four Pokemon. Yeah, I'll thresh. I will thrash. Floor 8. We're getting there. We're getting there. Hopefully I won't get confused here. That'll slow things down. Yeah, I did. That's alright. Mm. Yeah, let me ice beam it if I can. Just because. Not enough grit. If you don't turn back, I'll call for backup. Alright, sir. You do that. I am one of the four Rocket Brothers. So here's number three, if I'm counting right. Rocket wants to fight. Weezing. Can I one-shot him with a Thrash now? At level 50? Let's see. Nope. Ah, come on. That's fine. Good experience, though. Or total 23. He needs to get to 36 to turn into a Blastoise. So it's gonna be a while. Hit shot, no problem. Woo, oh brothers. What's with the music here? This isn't the music that's supposed to play, what? Weird. I'll leave you up to my brothers. I think there's only one of those left. You're causing us problems.
Easy fight, easy fight. Stand true, 21. Huh? I lost? So, what do you think of Sylph's building maze? Go here, talk to this kid. I wonder if Sylph is finished. That's everything in this floor. Going on up. Yet another one. And... I don't know what I want to do here. Let me go... Let me go this way. For now. I am one of the four Rocket Brothers. So he should be the last one, actually. Get that Thunderbolt going. You know, really, I should go to the Pokemon Center and deposit all these TMs I'm getting instead of wasting my items, but I really don't want to do that. I really want to avoid having to do that. But there's still a lot of items to grab here, so I might have to. I don't know. One man, he's leveling up quick. Okay, my brothers will avenge me. I don't think so, sir. I don't think so. So, here on the ninth floor, there is a nurse that heals you. You look tired, you should take a quick nap. Don't give up. So she heals all your Pokemon, and there's also a hidden item here. A max potion. So yeah, she functions as a Pokemon Center, pretty much. Your Pokemon seem to adore you, kid. Good old drowsy. Which I am getting myself. It's kind of late. What time is it? Let me see. 2.30? It's 2.30 in the morning. Oh my god. I gotta stop doing this to myself. I'm having fun though. This game's so much fun. We're almost done. We're on floor 9. We got a couple more floors here. Finish off that my chop. Gwah. If I had started as a trainer at your age. Alright, let me backtrack out of here. But I'm not done with this place yet. There's one more trainer here in the corner. There's nothing in those rooms to my left. There's this guy. Your Pokemon have weak points. I can nail them. I'm hoping he won't send out a wheezing after this.
War Turtle 24. I'm trying to learn Bite. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother with this, honestly. Magneton. Should one shot it. You are you hammered me. Exploiting weak spots does not work. Think about element types. Okay. And now I am done with this floor. I'm ready to move on to floor number 10. Wow. Enough of your silly games. No, continues left. What is he, like an arcade nerd, I guess? Are you satisfied with beating me? Then go on home. Welcome to the 10th floor. So good of you to join me. And I'm a choke. Should be no problem. Ah, uh, a little bit of HP left, just a little bit. Everybody gaining their experience, sand true to 22. I'm stunned. What? Sandshrew is evolving. I'm confused. I thought it was uh, 26, but I'll take it. I'm glad he's evolving. Sandshrew evolved into Sandslash. Sweet. So my Pokedex is now at 93. Let me read the entry for him. Curls up into a spiny ball when threatened. It can roll while curled up to attack or escape. Cool. So I can deposit him forever. He no longer needs experience. Oh man. Here we go again, making room for items. What can I get rid of? Max Potion. On the Needle King. On a Carbos, which I will use right away. Raise his speed. Go here. Get a rare candy, which thankfully doesn't take up another inventory space since it just stockpiles the ones I already have. And then a TM26, which is super important. This is Earthquake. A super powerful move that you'll want to use wisely. Probably another move I'll have on my final Pokemon team. If I am being fully honest, and then I think I am done here on this floor. Actually, never mind. There's a girl here I can talk to. I want to step in these teleporters. It's kind of forcing me to. Wah! I'm scared. That's all. Now I can move up. Let me go down this side here. Halt! Do you have an appointment with my boss? Got a ton of Pokemon. Thunderbolt gonna work well on a Rattata. 
Let's see. I mean, when you're double the level, pretty much anything works well, right? Pidgeotto is 32. Sweet. No, I will not change Pokemon. I'll keep using this Thunderbolt. Just keep Thunderbolt, why not? So I guess I could use all my rare candies on the Pidgeotto, but now I'm having second thoughts because I really need to get my Parasect to level 30 because I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need it to learn that Spore. I can start putting some Pokemon to sleep because I'm going to be trying to catch some very difficult to catch Pokemon soon. So I might want to save those rare candies for it. What about Thunderbolt on an Ekans? Does that work well? I don't think it does. I think it's not very effective. No, it's just normal. Okay. God, demolished. Watch your step. My boss likes his Pokemon tough. So you'll see here to my left is like the main office, but I can't get there from here. So we'll have to find another way in. And I think I am going to go deposit my Sand Slash and some items because I have to take this elevator down to the third floor, but I'll meet you at the third floor, but I'm going to go deposit items and Pokemon. So that way I can get the experience better distributed. Actually, I take that back. I take that back. Let me go to the third floor. We will go to the third floor together. We're all here. So this is the teleporter you need to take. And then look who it is. Yes, it is our rival. What kept you, Ren? Ha 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 ha. I thought you'd turn up if I waited here. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down. Not that I care. I saw you on Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. Blue wants to fight. I'll fight, no problem. Thunderbolt that Pidgeot. get a lot of experience here. Parasect is 28. Maybe I should have gone and deposited. I don't know. And we can blast it with the Ice Beam. Really, I'm surprised that didn't work as a one-hit shot. It's okay. I'm gonna start thrashing. Execute. I'm just worried about the self-destruct moves that it might have. And Alakazam. Alakazam can possibly do a lot of damage here to me. Especially if I hit myself in confusion. Thankfully that didn't happen. Nice. Glad I was able to get him out of there. And finally the Blastoise. Looks like a badass. Level 40, huh? Oh really? The Leech Seed? I didn't know the Leech Seed worked between different Pokemon like that. That's weird.
Wow, weird. Critical hit, huh? Nine hundred experience. Wow, level fifty two. And twenty five on the war turtle. Oh no. You are ready for boss rockets. Well, Ren, I'm moving on up and ahead. By checking my Pokedex, I'm starting to see what's strong and how they evolve. I'm going to the Pokemon League to boot out the Elite Four. I'll become the world's most powerful trainer. Ren, well, good luck to you. Don't sweat it. Smell ya. This guy's so goofy. Oh, hi. You're not Rocket. You came to save us? Why, thank you. I want you to have this Pokemon for saving us. Ren got a Lapras. No nickname. It's Lapras. It's very intelligent. We kept it in our lab, but it will be much better off with you. I think you will be a good trainer for Lapras. It's a good swimmer. It'll give you a lift. Alright, let me look at the Pokemon entry. The Pokedex entry. For the Lapras. My god, this is over an hour on this episode. Hope you guys are enjoying a little bit of a longer one. And I hope my hard drive has enough room on it for this episode. Oh my god. Might be cutting it close. Oh no, I missed it. Did I miss it? I missed it. Sorry. I scrolled right through it. There it is. I saw it. Right? Right? No? Am I going nuts? Yeah, right here, 131. Sorry about that. A Pokemon that has overhunted almost to extinction. It can ferry people across the water. Alright, let me see what items I have here. Now that I actually need... Like, the heal. What? Full heal doesn't work. Ah, you know what? We're gonna be alright. We're gonna be alright. We're gonna go through. We're gonna fight this last rocket here. Stop right there, don't you move. Level 32. Will my level 52 be able to... one-shot these? I hope so. Ah, no. Not good. Now the attack fell, so it's gonna be even worse. The Drowsy should get one-shotted, unless that Growl really affected me. Critical hits. And a Marowak, so yeah, this is definitely gonna take two hits. Oh, focus energy. Alright, let's hope this doesn't miss. Ah, dang. That's gonna be painful. Don't hit yourself, no! Oh my god. This is turning into a disaster. Come on. Don't, please. So, you want to see my boss? Alright, I may regret this. You could always go down to the ninth floor and heal up, but I think I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. Ah, Ren, so we meet again. The President and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-up matters. Or experience a world of pain. So this is Giovanni again. Sending out a Nidorino. Oh my god, I hope I survive. 
Let me go ahead and just do that X accuracy. Critical hit, oh no. Oh no, this is hitting harder than I thought. Oh, and it's hitting over and over again. Oh no. Oh my god, this is intense. But I should be able to horn drill my way through the rest of the Pokemon. Wow. I played it too risky. I should have just went and healed. I played it too risky. But it worked out in the end. Level 23 on the Sand Slash, not like it matters. Sorry for that beeping noise, guys. One hit KO, sweet. A not very effective one hit KO. And a Needle Queen, finally. Sorry, Needle Queen, but the Needle King is king here. Wow, down to 4 HP, but we pulled it through. That would have been horrendous if that died. I don't know. This whole episode would have gone to crap. I would have had to uh, do something. I don't know. Alright, I lost again. Blast it all. You ruined our plans for Sylph, but Team Rocket will never fall. Ren, never forget that all Pokemon exist for Team Rocket. I must go, but I shall return. Okay. And then here, I am going to get an item, but I don't have room for it. So there is a PC here, which is very nice. And I can deposit some of these items that I don't need. Mainly all these TMs. I'll do that off screen, actually. I just needed to deposit at least one so I can actually get the stuff here. Secretary, thank you for rescuing all of us. We admire your courage. Thank you for saving Sylph. I will never forget you saved us in our moment of peril. I have to thank you in some way. Because I am rich, I can give you anything. Here, maybe this will do. Ren got the Master Ball. You can't buy that anywhere. It's our secret prototype Master Ball. It will catch any Pokemon without fail. You should be quiet about using it though. Yeah, the Master Ball, you can catch a Pokemon. No ifs, ands, or buts. You just throw it and it'll catch. So I'm going to save that for a very special Pokemon towards the end of the game. But for now, I think I can use an escape rope out of here, right? There we go. So that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed the longer one. That's all of Sylph Co. And now Team Rocket has left that area. And also areas here in Saffron City that were previously blocked by Team Rocket are open. So I'm going to be doing some of those in the next one. So thank you very much for watching. And as the lady always says, we hope to see you again. Thanks for stopping by the Renaissance Gaming Monastery. I hope you join our community on Discord and Twitter. These videos are produced with a lot of hard work and love. If you think they're worth a dollar, I'd be grateful for your contribution. You can send a thanks donation or become a member on YouTube. You can also support through PayPal, Patreon, or even with cryptocurrency. All links are in the description. See you on the next video.